Hello and welcome to the lecture. So let's continue with more things on JavaScript in Oracle Apex. So now we'll go with the dynamic actions, which is very most important for JavaScript and plays a huge role there in Oracle Apex. So you can start it by defining a dynamic action as we have a page item here and we will add by right clicking and create a dynamic action and we will add a change event so that means whenever the input is changed we will try to execute it and the execution is a true action where we will try to use the execute javascript code so this javascript code will be now executed whenever we try to change that so if you can see that let me just go with the console.log as usual and I will just uh, print something a b yeah demo would be fine so whenever I try to change this would be printing me on the console so let's refresh it and see the changes here and now if I go to the console and I will try to use something so this is printing me the demo and if I try it again it's printing me the demo and these are uh, debugging things that's fired with respect to the dynamic action we will come back to this and even if you want you can uh, do more things as well there are some help features here if you go to the help we have some references with the, this objects if you just uh, put console.log of this thing we will get more information on the object i mean the element which is our triggering element is this one we'll have more information on that so if we try now i'll be getting the same so what we saw in the earlier this this object by default will be printing and now if we put console.log of this we'll be getting the same thing so uh, with respect to our development environment we'll get the this part the desktop part and with respect to our own development this line the home session which is printed here so this is wrapped in this function and we'll get back to this later on and so this is how the things are happening here with the dynamic actions so whatever we want not only the change events if we want a, with respect to a button we would be using click events and lots of things are there for javascript to execute and mostly JavaScript is the one that uses the dynamic actions and the other parts we will be using very uh, less when compared to JavaScript even we'll be using server-side code at times and other than this two there is nothing much to use here and all this can be achieved through JavaScript the clear and the disable everything you can even submitting page and cancel the long everything can be achieved there so those things we'll see more on the dynamic actions as i said so now we'll just uh, continue with more functionalities on the javascript side where we'll be using and we'll see that in the next lecture